Hello everyone. I hope you remember me. I miss Pat and I'm here to read you a story today. I'm so excited. You ha I have you some of you are some of my most favorite 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 kids to read to. So I bought all the favorite 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 books. There's so many. There's so many kids who like so many different books. But a big, big favorite, the one we're going to start with, is this one. You might even remember it. It's called Go Dog Go. Oh my gosh. Do you remember this story? P.D. Eastman wrote all the words and did the pictures. Lots of people, when they're going to school, start reading this book because it has good words in it. And there's one word on this page. It says dog. Big dog. Little dog. Big dogs and little dogs. That's a lot of dogs. Black and white dogs. Oh yes, I see. White dog with a black spot. Now the dogs are talking. Hello, hello. Do you like my hat? I do not. Goodbye, goodbye. One little dog going in. Three big dogs coming out. Hmm, I wonder how that worked. Whoops. A red dog on a blue tree, and a blue dog on a red tree, and a green dog on a yellow tree. <laughs> oh, these dogs. Some big dogs and some little car dogs going around in cars. I can see them going all over. A dog is out of the car. I wonder why he got out of the car. Looks like it's see smoke. Maybe his car is broken down. Two big dogs are going up. One little dog is going down. He looks like he's going fast. The green dog is up, the yellow dog is down, the blue dog is in, and the red dog is out. I never saw a blue dog in person. One dog is up on a house on top. Three dogs are down in the water. Look, they're swimming. It's so fun. There's a green dog over the, a tree and a yellow dog under the tree. Two dogs in a house, on a boat, in the water. Whoa, that's a lot. Two dogs are in a house, on a boat, in the water. Oh my goodness. A dog over the water. A dog under the water. Oh, they're back. Do you remember what she's going to ask? She's going to say, hello again. Hello. Do you like my hat? I do not like it. Goodbye again. Goodbye. I wonder why he doesn't like her hat. The dogs are going round and round and round. Go around again, he's yelling. Whoa, this guy looks, looks like he might be hot. We'll have to see what's happening. The sun is up. The sun is yellow. The yellow sun is over the house. It is hot. 
out here in the sun. It is not hot here under the house. I bet it's because he's in the shade. Now it is night. Three dogs at a party on a boat at night. Look, they're playing games. Dogs at work. Work, dogs, work. Dogs at play. Play, dogs, play. Hello again. Hello. Do you like my hat? What do you think he's going to say? I do not like that hat. <laughs> Goodbye again. Goodbye. Go. Dogs in cars again. Going away. Going away fast. They do look like they're going fast. Look at those dogs go. Go, dogs, go. Uh-oh. Yikes. This could be a problem. I hope this ends well. Oh. They're stopping. Stop, dogs, stop. The light is red now. Oh, I'm glad that was not a problem. Go, dogs, go. The light is green now. Oops, the wind blew the page. Two dogs at play, at play on top. Go down, dogs, go down. Do not play up there, go down. I think that's good advice. Now it is night. Shh. Night is not a time for play. It is time for sleep. The dogs go to sleep. They will sleep all night. Do you notice any dogs that aren't sleeping? It looks like his eyes are open. Now it is day. The sun is up. Now it is time for all dogs to get up. Get up. It is day. Time to get going. Go, dogs, go. Why are they going so fast in those cars? What are they going to do? Where are they going? There they go. Look at those dogs go. Where do you think they're going? Do you remember? If you read the story before, you might remember. Look where they are going. They are all going to that big tree over there. Oh no, do you see what's happening? Now the cars stop. Now all the dogs get out. And now look where those dogs are going. Oh, see, they're all running. To the tree! To the tree! I think that's what the dogs are yelling. Up the tree! Up the tree! Up they go! To the top of the tree! Why? Why would anybody go up to a top like that? Will they work up there? Will they play up there? What is up there on top of that tree? What do you think it is up there? Holy mackerel! Wait till you see this. It's a dog party, a big dog party. Big dogs, little dogs, red dogs, blue dogs, yellow dogs, green dogs, black dogs and white dogs and all at a dog party. What a dog party. This looks like so much fun. There's cake and toys and games. Oh boy, they're having a great time. 
kind of like a birthday. Hello again. And now, do you like my hat? That's. Guess what he said? Nope, he didn't say he didn't like it. He said, I do. What a hat. I like it. I like that party hat. Goodbye. Goodbye. What a fun story about dogs. I can't, I'm so glad that he finally liked her hat. Because that was a tough one. We'll be back in a little bit. I have another story for you. Another favorite. Boom. Medicaid and CHIP offer free or low-cost health coverage for kids and teens. These programs cover doctor's appointments, hospital visits, prescriptions, shots, and more. As parents, we get peace of mind knowing that our children are covered if they are sick or get injured. You may now be eligible for Medicaid, too, even if you've applied in the past. Enrollment is always open. Visit insurekidsnow.gov or call 1-877-KIDS-NOW. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Welcome to Oxford Community Television. We are proud that our four communities continue to choose local programming, local news, sports, community issues, familiar faces, celebrations, and commitment to each other. Welcome to Oxford Community Television. Emergency police ambulance or fire. Hello? Hi, you have 911. How can I help you? Hello? Hi, who's this? Oh, how are you today? Good. Yeah? How old are you? Five. You're five, eh? Is mom or dad around? Can I talk to one of them? Who are you? Well, you called me. What number did you dial? Yeah, I don't know. You dialed 911, eh? Did you want to see if it actually worked? I don't remember what 911 they did. Yeah, 911 is for emergencies. It's for the ambulance or if you need a police officer or if there's a fire and you need a firefighter. Didn't they teach you that in school about 911 that you call if somebody needs help? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so does somebody need help today or were you just testing it out? Just testing. Just testing, eh? Well, I'm here. <laughs> Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. Hi, this is Toronto Police Service calling call 911. We just want to make sure everything was okay there. The officers will be attending your home. Um, if you have no emergency, please call us back. Hi. 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 Are you the mom or yes, your brother? I'm the mom. Oh, okay. He had called 911. Oh he wanted to make sure we were really here. I am so sorry. Apparently, fine. he learned about us in school recently. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Everything's, Everything's okay, fine. though, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You. Bye bye. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm so glad you came back. I have a wonderful story about a little boy named Willie. Well, actually, I think the dog's name is Willie. We'll have to figure it out. Ezra Scott Keats wrote these words. It's a wonderful book. Oh, how Peter, his name is Peter. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. Have you ever wanted to whistle? 
I can't whistle either. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around and around and around and around, faster and faster and faster. He thought that maybe that could help him whistle. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and all around, and up and down and around and around. Have you ever spun around out in the grass? Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming, quick as a wink. He hid in an empty box. He uses the word carton, lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter said. Willie would stop and look all around for who it was. Peter tried again and again to whistle, but, but he still couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Poor, poor Peter. Peter got out of the box and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalk out of his pocket and he drew a long, long line. right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again, but his cheeks were so tired and nothing happened. Have you ever tried to do something so hard and it didn't work? That can be hard. He went into his house and he put his father's old hat on to make himself feel more grown up. He looked in the mirror and practice whistling. Still, no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why well, no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go outside and look for him then, he said. First he walked along the crack in the sidewalk, and then he tried to run away from his shadow. That would be hard to run away from your shadow. He jumped off his shadow when he landed. They were together again. He came to a corner, and there was the carton. And who should he see but Willie. Peter scrambled under the box, under the curtain. He blew and he blew and he blew. And suddenly, something awesome happened. Out came a whistle. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's like, who is whistling for me? It's me, Peter shouted, and he stood up. Willie raced straight towards him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling, and so did Willie. Look at Willie standing up on his bed. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there and he whistled all the way home. The end. It can be so hard to learn something new. I'm glad that I'm glad that Peter stuck with it. Willie looks pretty happy about it too.
I'm so glad you could read Whistle for Willie with me. Um, we'll be back in a few moments.
I told you I'd be back, and I am. It's Miss Pat. I bet you know what it's even called. The title of it is Good Night Moon, and Margaret Wise Brown wrote the words. And Clement Hurd drew all the pictures. Can you imagine drawing all the pictures in a book? He did a good job. It's called Good Night Moon. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of a cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. And two little kittens and a pair and a pair of mittens. and a little toy house and a young mouse. Oh. Hold on, I'm having trouble turning the page there. And a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush. And a quiet old lady who was whispering Good night, moon. You see the moon? Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears and good night, chairs. Good night, kittens, and good night, mittens. Good night, clocks, and good night, socks. Good night, little house, and good night, little mouse. Good night, comb, and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering. Good night, stars. Good night, air. And good night, noises everywhere. The end. What a nice story to end our episode today with. It was so wonderful that you could tune in and see me, and it was wonderful to see you. I'll be back soon.